Chantal recently had some interesting revelations about food, specifically her snacking habits and how she's doing on her weight loss journey. Ever since she landed in Kuwait, I've been collecting little bits and bobs of things that she's been buying while she's over there. I thought this was a perfect time to bring them out and show you what it's like to snack like Chantal. Let's start out by getting her take on the food situation in her own words. Right now though, I, I will admit I'm struggling with food badly, I'm wanting to eat, you know, just like, you know, Sala sleeps like a rock, so it's easy for me to just go and make like Indomie or eat like chips or whatever. My favorite food right now is like, okay, here's my favorite foods. <laughs> it's curry, chicken curry flavored Indomie with butter. Um... Labna with bread, pickles of any kind. I always ask for extra pickles. The food is not processed here, like, yeah, way less processed. I know it, like, we still have processed foods like chicken nuggets and stuff, which are really good. They have these spicy zinger ones. Like, for example, the craft sing like craft singles here. Or white. I think I said this before. They don't have like dyes, like orange dye in it, and they don't taste like plastic. It tastes like actual cheese, almost like tangy, like sharp cheddar. It's so good. I, I ate like three in a row. Reminds me of when Homer Simpson ate like 45 craft singles. <laughs> I'm like the Homer Simpson, a female Homer Simpson sometimes. <clears throat> So here are some of the things you'll see on my snack plate. The other things, like the chocolate bars, are from grocery hauls. I, uh, I need to cut down on the sodium. Speaking of which, I made something to eat. <laughs> I don't know, I feel starving today. Like, this is the thing. Some days I'm hungrier than other days, and today I guess, you know. Uh, so speaking of salt, I have some Indomie. <laughs> Pickles, Kiri, si I know it's Silence of the Lambs, but okay, these noodles have butter, hot sauce, I'm determined, my channel is the only one you're subscribed to? Yeah, um, I don't think I'm subscribed to anybody right now. Mmm. There are colorful abayas, but I think in my size it's limited. <laughs> okay, I need a drink. I had a okay, here's what I'm drinking. Remember in Cuba it was Fanta? Well here's Marinda. <laughs> um Okay, let's eat. So this is the bread. Look at this bread. It's like fresh. There's already a bunch. <laughs> you guys make me feel giddy. Mom, hum, hummus. This is creamy. <laughs> Labine, full fat. Hummus. For this video, I'm having a little bit of everything. I'm starting out by pouring myself a big glass of Mirinda. It's a full sugar orange soda made by PepsiCo. It's pretty good. I'm having everything with store-bought pita, just heat it up in the oven a little bit. If you're interested in the calorie counts, I'll put those in the description box. I wasn't sure exactly what brand of pickles to get, so I went with this Turkish brand. Surprisingly, they didn't taste like American pickles at all. Rather, they were brined in a very salty solution, not one that was heavy on vinegar. These weren't exactly my cup of tea. 
Next up was the infamous chicken luncheon meat. Now I wasn't sure what to expect from this because it kind of looks like pate but smells like spam. It's actually pretty bland and kind of forgettable. Now I know she's getting fresh but I got a can of hummus because I wasn't sure when I was going to do this video. It was okay, nothing to write home about. The version of cream cheese that I chose was Puck. This is something I already have a big jar of at home, and it's really tasty. Sort of like a mild white cheese whiz. We know from her grocery hauls that they buy this in big jars. So in this bowl, I have one packet of prepared Indomie. Yes, that's how you pronounce it, Indomie. It's really salty. If you've never had it before, you basically boil the noodles and then toss them with the seasonings dry. Now remember, she adds a pat of butter, so I did that too. I can't even imagine eating two or three packets at a time. Of everything on the table, the Indomie was the only thing I finished. Maybe because it was familiar to me, or I was just really hungry after work. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on snacking like this. I think that foods like these prepared cheeses and meats are a dangerous, dangerous trap. Because they seem relatively light, but they're not. They're full of preservatives. On top of that, some of these things are incredibly salty. It's no wonder that Chantal is guzzling the soda. The thing that's baffling to me is that she thinks these foods aren't processed. Brining something in salt is processing it, Chantal, even if they're just pickles. As for the bread, as fresh as it may be, it still has a lot of empty calories. She'd be better off having three big meals a day and trying not to snack unless it's on salads or fresh fruit. On one hand, I can see why she considers these snack foods, but in reality, the calorie counts add up to pretty much a meal. And honestly, this is probably why she can't get to sleep very easily. Eating all of this heavy food right before you go to bed? It's not a good thing. We didn't get to the chocolate bars because I wasn't sure if they were for her or for Salah, but I will include them in the calorie count, just in case. I'm sure she managed to get one or two of those dairy milks. As for me, I only finished the ramen and about a third of the glass of soda. The rest of it wasn't really worth the calories. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. Did any of this look good to you?